What's up, people? It's your boy, Jatois, and I am here today to show you how to install Luna Multiplayer. It's really not that hard. So first thing you will need to do, you will need to go to lunamultiplayer.com in your browser of your choice. And then you will need to go over to the download tab here. So once you click on that link, you will have the option to select your client or server. So we're going to go ahead and select client for now now right now it's going to say that Luna multiplayer is compatible with version 141 it will work with 142 that is what I am currently running and I've had no trouble with it at all my servers are doing perfectly fine I do have a serve I do have three servers going and I connect to all three at random times one for sandbox one for for career and one for science so now our our download is complete so let's go ahead and click on this to open it up and let's show you what you get in the package you will get three lovely things two folders one file the first one is going to be lmp client then lmp server and then the readme guess what happens if you open up readme it's going to tell you a very very important thing most people probably do not open this up but it tells you please before asking any questions check the wiki check the wiki and also here because it's not word wrapped client side I will go ahead and word wrap this so you can see it client side copy the contents of the folder to your LMP client to your KSP folder in the game data so what you want to do is basically put the client in your game data and the server you do not want the server in your game data it will cause problems that is not what you want to do it will cause it not to load properly so let's go ahead and let's grab our client so let's open up our LMP client and you will see in here there's a game data folder we're gonna open this up right here and you'll see here's the Luna multiplayer folder this is traditionally what I do I dig down into the folders until I see all the separate folders with the mod with all the components of the mod this lets me actually find out what I actually need to drop in my game data because sometimes you'll find a game data inside your inside your mod folder and that's just because it was zipped incorrectly so in this case it's done properly we need to get this folder Luna multiplayer into our game data so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this to the side and we are going to open up yet another window here and we're gonna move this to the side alright so what I'm going to do here is we're gonna go over to my Kerbal Space Program folder now if you don't know or you don't have yours quick linked what you need to do is go to your main to your drive main drive now this is for Steam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on over to here to my program files and did I go to the right one I think it's x86 actually let's jump over to our x86 and that's for the 64-bit applications so this here x86 is normally where Steam's going to reside for me at least uh, now let's go ahead and go from here we're gonna go to steam and then steam apps and then we're gonna go to common and this is where all of your installed games will reside so what you need to do here is go down to Kerbal Space Program here and then you'll see my 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 Kerbal Space Program folder is a bit in disarray. These are my crash logs. Ignore those. I have some various other folders, but those are actually not what we're here for. This is your game data folder. This is where your mods need to reside. This is where squads files reside if you are new to manually modding or manually placing your mods in. So let's go ahead and open up our game data, and you'll see I will you will see that this is my really small contained almost stock amount of mods because this is for my mod testing game data so you can have multiple copies of game data it's only going to load the one that's named game data anything else is not going to it's not going to load them it's going to ignore them so you can have multiple i have one as you can see here if we jump back one folder one for career one for sandbox 
one for science, and one for VR, believe it or not, because there is a mod for VR, KSP VR. But this is Luna Multiplayer, so let's jump back to task. So go to Game Data, and over here, all you're going to do is drag this from here, and you're going to place it right there. Once this finishes copying over, it does not take very long at all. You will now have a Luna Multiplayer folder in here. Now, mind you, I did not, I did not unzip this. I'm in Windows 10. I can just double click on it and it'll open. And it's still compressed over on this side. So I didn't actually unzip it. It's still compressed. It's just extracting it from this compressed file and then dropping it into my game data uncompressed. So here we are. We have Luna Multiplayer. It's ready to rock. Now, if you grab this file from anyone else, there's going to be a lot more files in here. What you want to do is go into your plugins. And in here, there will be a data folder. You will then want to re uh, delete that data folder. Just a heads up, because sometimes I even do place my own zipped uh, Luna multiplayer files in my Discord. And you can see here what that would look like. And this is that data folder. And you'll see in here, this is information that's specific to myself. And don't worry, these will all be generated back. So it's not there right now under uh, f when you initially install it. So you'll be fine. It will generate it. So let's go ahead and let's start up Kerbal Space Program. All right, so what you'll find here is once the game is running, if everything's in the proper location, you'll see you'll get this disclaimer. Go ahead, and if you are okay with everyone, everything you see here, like you'll see here your player name you connect with, your player token is a randomly generated string to authenticate you, and your IP address is logged on the server console. Do not worry too much, you should be fine. There's plenty of protections in line. So go ahead, and I just hit accept and we'll wait for the rest of the game to load. All right, so now that the game is loaded, what you need to do is actually log onto a server. So you'll see over here, you have Luna Multiplayer. You will have your version of Luna Multiplayer. You'll see we are 6.37. We're gonna need to change our name here. And you can also set up custom servers if you happen to know the IP address of, or the address of, your particular uh, server. So in my instance, I am local to my server. It's on my current network. So I am going to go 192.168.1.10. Now, if you were running your own server on the same computer that you are currently using, you need to enter in the loopback. So that would be 127.0.0.1. That is a valid address, and that will actually cause let you run the server on your current computer and connect to it. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to connect to it. So let's go ahead and switch that back out for me, 192.168.1.10. If you are unsure what the address is, if you have a computer on your local network, just go right on over to it, to its network manager or if you're in Windows you can go to your command prompt and just type in ipconfig and you'll get the address right there now I don't have a password on my servers that's something that's configured in the server itself and the port is typically 8800 now <clears throat> I say typically because I'm running three servers on one computer so for mine I have 8801 as my sandbox so let's go ahead and enter this in you will have to update this each time if you do it like I do so sandbox and then don't worry about pressing anything to hit save once you have it in there it's saved so let's go ahead and enter in another one and this one is going to be career and that's going to be uh, 192.168.1.10 and once again that's 8800 and I'm gonna do one more and this is going to be science and we're gonna say 
192.168.1.10 and this one is 8802 if you were ever wondering if you could connect to mine personally now if you didn't want to go through all that and you actually had my IP address for my server most people don't have my IP address for my server and you're wondering well how can I connect to your servers this magical button up here this is the servers window let's go ahead and move this down to the side here and we're gonna go ahead and click on this it's gonna bring you up all the servers that are currently available this is your refresh button it is your best friend if you're not seeing servers if you click on this button it's going to then query all it's gonna to query to the master server and it's gonna provide you with all the servers that are currently available so as you can see here I have my Jatwa LMP142 science server currently available my other two servers are currently not available I'm probably on a slightly different version and I know my science is my most up-to-date version I need to move the other two on over <clears throat> so you can see here at the beginning of each column there is this little button here this will let you connect to that server in that row so let's go ahead and click on here I should get a warning that I don't have the proper mods because it is a modded server let's see I should be missing a few mods and actually since I'm on the same network it may time out there it goes it timed out this because I'm on the same network it's going to time out for me it's doing and that's kind of going a long roundabout method to get all the way back to my server which is literally a few steps away so what I would need to do to show you again let's go to sandbox and you'll see here this is the icon that lets you actually connect to the server that you have selected here so let's go ahead and click on this and let's see what happens it's connecting over to 192.168.1.10 port 8801 and right now and we get an initial connection timeout so I'm thinking that I probably have the wrong port in to tell you the truth no I'm just connecting to the wrong one so let's go ahead and try this again because even I have a doof moment all right and here you go we have incorrect set of mods installed as you can see here this one actually has quite a bit of mods which I need to correct because my sandbox is not supposed to have so many mods installed and I did it wrong I did it wrong it's okay but as you can see here it'll tell you what mods you are currently missing planetary base uh, systems here simple construction uh, Kerbal joint reinforcement so this is because I have mods installed and when I created the server I made these mods required so if you do see this happen you can get in contact with the actual server owner and see if these mods are actually required or if they made any a mistake like I made a mistake so there you go once you actually have a proper version up and going and you are connected you will actually get this to it will actually go all the way through and connect you so let's go ahead jump out of here and let's load up our main game our sandbox game it's gonna take a little bit longer to load though so I'll be right back all right so now the game is loaded and you can see here we have our three servers and we are on once again 6.37 for Luna multiplayer and we are ready to connect so let's go ahead and try to connect up to sandbox which is what this this game data is for now if you are successful in logging in you'll see it will take you right into the game and it will drop you off at the KSC once it loads I have quite a few mods installed so it does take a little bit longer and here you can see we are at the KSC Luna multiplayer Windows should be up and you can see here you can see the chat window which you can keep separate separately open and you can also capture your screenshots we have quite a few screenshots available in here and you can see here we have a craft library where you can share craft between players 
If you want it to disconnect, you can also click on this orange button down here, which I will not do right now. And then there's the gears where you can change the color of your name. If I so wanted, I could be a nice tone of fuchsia, which I don't I don't think I would do. Maybe a lighter blue would, would be nice, though. There we go. So this is also where I generate my LMP mod controls. This is very handy if you are running a server. All you have to do is load the game up, go to your Luna multiplayer, and open the options and click on Generate Server LMP Mod Control. And this is the quickest way to generate your mod control files if you are, once again, a server owner. So with that being said, all you have to do from here is... Uh, enjoy the game other people will jump in and out and you'll see there's other people's aircraft in here in ours we have a nice delightful network of communications in place and so yeah we have a lot going on here we have a lot of fun and we'll be on here again this coming friday the 13th <laughs> uh, <coughs> and hopefully you guys have found this to be useful and if you do want to, you can also join our server. Once again, if you just look on there, it'll be Jatwa LMP. So let's go ahead and show you how to disconnect. And a boop. And there you are. You will be returned to the menu. And so you can connect to another server. You can see here, there they are. All my servers are showing up. Career, Sandbox. I showed you my... my uh, my science, career, and sandbox all showing up now. There they go. And uh, you can see the modes will be displayed here as well. So you always know which one you're connecting to and how many players are on which one. I, we've had over 10 players on our, on our sandbox server. And it's done absolutely perfect. No real problems. So for now, I'm going to get on out of here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and it's been of some use to you let me know if you have any trouble jump on discord you can ask for help anywhere on there just let me know or ping me on discord and i will be glad to assist further for now i am out of here it's your boy and i am out peace